Good evening Hack College viewers. Tonight we've got a great episode lined up for you in the form of Hiram's Boot CD. We're going to be showing you how to gain administrative rights on any machine that you have physical access to. There is no way to protect against this attack, there is no way to stop it. If you have a machine that's out in the open it's pretty vulnerable. Um, I mean you could set settings to stop the machine from booting from the CD. But um, there's ways around, i.e. resetting the CMOS which is pretty pretty easy and if the machine isn't in a, a highly visible place somebody could quite easily do that. So, um, I recorded some footage of me earlier doing this on a virtual machine um, using the boot CD method and I'm just going to give you some voiceover and talk you through the steps involved to um, crack the password, sorry, reset the password. And also, uh, I, I'll show you the machine loading to, to show that there is a password there for the two accounts. So let's get started. I'm uh, clicking play now. <coughs> okay, so first of all, we need to boot the um, virtual machine and we're going to boot it up from the hard drive. Just for the tutorial, this is Windows XP Service Pack 2 because I already have it there for some other testing on the network. And um, it works with XP, Vista and Windows 7. So, you can see the two accounts here. One is Password Admin and the other one is Password Limited. Uh, I changed the name of these two accounts for you guys so you could understand the, um, the naming convention. The, the one is a limited account and the other one is a, an administrator account but we're going to be resetting the password on both of those. So at the moment I'm just setting up a password for the limited account. And reboot the machine now and we're going to boot from the CD this time and use Hiram's boot CD. So I'll just show you that the password, it's got a password now and we're rebooting. Okay, so this time we're going to go into the password and registry tools, offline NT, a password changer for uh, NT2000 XP Vista and 7. Boot into this, this will boot a mini version of uh, Linux as the executable runs under Linux, so uh, give it some time. And once, um, once it's booted you'll be asked to select what, part it, what hard disk you'd like to inspect and the path to the Windows directory, just press enter to confirm the default ones. Then um, you'll be asked what you wish to do and we go into edit users and passwords. Then type the name of the user account you wish to change, in this case it's XP user, uh, which is uh, password admin and the password uh, limited is the password account on the screen that you can see. Okay, so we've reset both the passwords. Now the most Im important thing um, to note when you're using the Hiram's Boot CD to reset these passwords is that you need to write the changes to disk. So make sure you quit properly. You need to hit exclamation mark, followed by enter, followed by Q. And when, when prompted, make sure you write the changes back to the disk. If you don't write the changes back to the disk, you'll just reboot and the password will still be there. Makes sense, but <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. So now I'm just uh, now that we've written the changes back to the disk, we're just going to reboot the machine and show you that the uh, admin account, which is the most important one, is now owned by us, and we could install software, we could do exactly what we wanted, uh, close processes, uh, you know, control the machine how we want to. You can just approve it. Let's go to the login screen and try and log in with the uh, password admin. And as you can see, we've just gone straight in, no prompt for a password. And that is how to reset passwords using Hiram's Boot CD. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have fun hacking and we'll be back soon.